Hello, this is Trome, and we're gonna break down some of my music videos. So this is the video clip of Papa Ute. Où est ton papa? Dis-moi où est ton papa? We were looking for the best representation of an absent father. And to have no father in the video clip was too obvious, too easy. And actually, the best idea was just to have a mannequin, which is the representation of the father. So that was the first time I worked with Marion Motin. And uh, she contacted a lot of uh, uh, beautiful dancers. A Crump dancer. I think Crump is originally from here, LA, if I'm not wrong. And we had the chance to have one of the, the best dancers of Crump. So he came all the way uh, from US to uh, Belgium to, to dance on the video in the video clip. So yeah, we were lucky to have him. The moment where when I'm, I'm dancing with him, we don't even know if it's a dream. That's why we see him from the car, just alone. And in his head, he's just dreaming that he's dancing with his father. This is the video of Tous les Mêmes. <laughs> I remember we were discussing and I was saying, okay, let's do this half woman, half man. And he was like, are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, yeah, of course, <laughs> I'm okay with it. I was naked here, but we were outside. It was uh, almost like 32 Fahrenheit, so really cold. So here we are standing and we are not in a real bed. Difficult to shoot, to be honest. So there is no mirror, actually. They put just two glasses, two everything, just to fake that it's a mirror. The camera is on a platform that can spin, and then they change the light. And I remember that was not that easy to make it. Yeah. I remember this one like, like this, and to have like everyone with the good distance, that was tricky, and uh, yeah. Thanks to Marion Motin, it was perfect. So the, the code in the, this video clip was when I'm a man, I'm in green, and when I'm a woman, I'm in uh, pink. Then we finish on the, on the, the pattern. And that's exactly the pattern I have on my jacket, because the concept on the last album was to have a pattern for every song, and the pattern for Tous les Mêmes was those hearts. This is the video of L'Enfer. This time I wanted to focus on doing something really simple. I remember that uh, Luc came with this idea of doing like a long zoom out. I remember that it was difficult for uh, the person who were doing the, the focus. It was always uh, blurry at the very beginning because it's a really uh, uh, macro uh, shot. So uh, it was difficult for her. I remember because I think we did 10 takes, 15 takes, I don't remember exactly. But I remember that one takes, I forgot just to open my eyes. I was almost like sleeping. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, sorry guys. It's a pretty easy trick. You play your song in slow mode to have a fast forward effect and you play your track in fast forward to have a slow mo effect. So we had to have different speed on the same track. To have this Ariana Grande ponytail, work with the same hairstylist, hair Alicia Dubois, who's a friend of Gorali Barbier. But to be honest, uh, it was a little bit complicated to do this. We put some metal in my, just an, on my head. Uh, to make it. So here, that was the opposite than the beginning. So it was in fast forward. So I had like five seconds to do everything we just saw. I was a little bit nervous about the, the performance. I thought I had to do a lot of stuff. And actually, it was a little bit too fake when I was doing too much on the, on, you know, on acting. And finally, I, I just had to do some little subtle uh, movement, which was more than enough to make it credible and, and authentic. So this is the video of Santé. So the concept of the video clip came up from Luc. The song Santé is just to celebrate the one who can't celebrate, the actual workers. The story behind the video clip is just some manuals everywhere on working places. The workers can, can be inspired by it and just dance and have fun on their uh, workplace. And actually we did the video clip in Ukraine because you are used to, to work with Ukraine. A lot of Belgian artists, French artists work with Ukraine. We wanted to have real people dancing. We didn't want to have real dancers and you can feel it in the video. We had Marion, uh, the choreographer, the same as on Fils de Joie. Actually, uh, she was like motivating them, like she was screaming behind the camera, like, okay, go ahead. And it's funny to see how 
natural they were and how much they they gave for the video clip i'm really thankful i think that the very last shot uh, i think she drank a little bit like just to make it more <laughs> natural this is the video of fils de joie in a fictional country the state holds a funeral for a missing sex worker that's exactly the the concept of the video clip and the original concept came from uh, Coralie Barbier. Usually we have a concept behind the song and we work the three of us, Coralie, Luc and me, and we brainstorm together. This national funeral was the best way to explain and to express uh, what I'm saying in the, in the song uh, Fils de Joie. So we added that harpsichord at the very beginning of uh, the Fils de Joie uh, song. We had to, to make the song a little bit longer and that was the best way to introduce, to, to have an introduction. We wanted to explain that it's a national parade and to be the most realistic we had to start even without any sound. That's the reason why we decided to, to take the time to have a real, uh, like a movie introduction. That's a big monument in Brussels and we had to work in post-production just to make it a little bit like brutalism. So we were 500 on the set, but here you can see that there is more than 500. So everything was done in post. We had just one line here. Those are real, those are real, those are fake. The first rows are real, but the very end are fake. Thanks to the post-production, we had a lot of people. <laughs> Question. Mm -hmm. How'd you land on the hair hat? <laughs> it's a fictional country, and uh, the best way to be a fiction was just to have a special haircut that comes from nowhere, actually, that you can't point a country in particular. The technique is like a big bun with fake hair on it already. Then they uh, put my hair like this. They put the, the, the cake on my, on my head. And then uh, she tries to just hide uh, the fake hair with my hair. And then finally, uh, you have this haircut, which is uh, a bit folkloric. <laughs> it's actually the haircut of the cover of the album. The goal was to, to be in a fictional country. And uh, we tried to made, make it the more multicultural uh, as possible. Of course, there is a lot of white people, but we are in Belgium, though, so it was difficult to find a lot of black people. That was the goal, to have like a big mixture of people from all around the world. I think that this group is like the first real choreography. The reference for me is, is Riverdance. Of course, the goal was not to imitate what they do, but where well, the choreography is, is completely inspired by this kind of traditional dances. The choreography with the coffin, that was uh, an inspiration from, I don't know if it's in Ghana, but there is some videos on TikTok and they are just holding this coffin and they dance at the same time. And we wanted just to do the, the same, because it's a positive way to celebrate someone. And we wanted to do the same here in the video clip. That's perfect. Okay. And then if you could grab the remote and just do a couple fake like button, like you're pausing it. Okay. Oh, oh actually that's good. Oh, this, yeah. Do both, do both, that's fun. <laughs> do that, yeah.